to the Torium. Special things for this type of the young lady that I call it for. So your new is much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region. Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about um, equation with homogeneous coefficients. So we started, um, we are now trying to get the general solution of differential equations, first order differential equation, um, having homogeneous coefficients. So meaning the coefficients of our differential equations are homogeneous function. So we first try to, to, to know if our coefficient is a homogeneous function okay. genus function okay. so there is a test for that to know for example if we have a function so f of x y so it is um, homogeneous so this is our given function so let's write this one is homogeneous if f lambda x and lambda y is equal to lambda raised to the power of k so that is the degree of our function then function f x of y so that is the test so for example you are given with a function in terms of x and y then we are going to substitute our the value of x and y to lambda x and lambda y if the resulting new equation can be or the, the, the resulting new function can be um, simplified in order to have in order for us to have this one lambda k function uh, multiplied by the original given function so that is the test of homo homogeneity so we will f we will we will be able to find out if the given function is homogeneous or not okay so we have an example for example our function so our fx we will write uh, another color for this one uh, green okay so it's just an example here so our f x of y is equal to x cubed plus y cubed. Okay, so that is our um, given function. So if you are going to test if this is this function is homogeneous, so we just have that one as f lambda x lambda y is equal to so we substitute our x here with lambda x of lambda x raised to the power of 3 plus lambda y raised to the power of 3. So we'll end up with lambda cube x cube plus lambda cube y cube factoring out our lambda cube. So we have um, x cube plus y cube in which this one is equal to the given function so we could write that one as lambda cube f x of y so meaning we are uh, we arrive from the from the um from the condition of the test of homogeneity itself this one so we arrive with this function so therefore the given function is homogeneous okay homogeneous okay. so that is how we are going to test homogeneous the if the given function is homogeneous or not so the reason why we're going to test for this is this 
technique of solving first order differential equation applies only to homo uh, to equation with homogeneous coefficient so the function the coefficient function of our differential equation is homogeneous if not then we could not apply this technique so the very first thing to do is to test if the given differential equation has homogeneous functions as is as its coefficients okay so let's try to have an example for this one okay so maybe we will start with a simpler one okay okay so or maybe we just first um write the uh, theory for this one the foundation okay so we could say that a function is um having a ho homogeneous coefficient if it is given with this one x y plus n x y is then we have here dx dy is equal to zero so maybe we just go first before we proceed to a to a example okay so that is the general form of a first order differential equation having homogeneous coefficient so if we are going to compare to our previous um, discussion our function there is only m x dx plus n y dy is equal to zero then this given function we can solve this one using separation of variables okay maybe we we'll just call that one as s s v okay the separation of variable okay so if the given function is um the function itself is only in terms of x and in terms of y then we will group together those functions having the same um, variable so the all x are grouped together in us in a certain part of the equation all y on the certain part of the equation then we do the integration and we could now solve the general solution of our given differential equation now for this one if you notice if you notice our coefficients are all in terms of x and y meaning our function now is have our function that ca cannot be se separated uh, solely or in terms of x or in terms of y meaning they are unseparable so the first thing to do is first the first technique to be used is to test if it is homogeneous if it is homogeneous we could have for example our y in terms of a certain variable maybe um, uh, u times x so our dy could be u dx plus u dy then we will substitute this one to the functions given here and we will end up with a certain function a certain solution for example uh, u is equal to something uh, ln x u plus c then we will substitute back the value of u because our given function is terms of y so we will substitute back our u so we will solving our u here so that will be x over y so we will have x over y is equal to ln x times oh, maybe this is um this is wrong so that is y over x okay so this is y over x over y over x okay plus c so we will end up with y over x is equal to ln y plus c so that is basically how we are going to do that uh, that solution the the exact method of itself but the very first thing to do is so we'll just write the steps here in solving equations with homogeneous coefficient so first you must test for homo or let's use that um, term to test if it is homogeneous so if it is uh, given two functions so each function will test if it is homogeneous or not then let either x or y be 
a function or a variable of something or of another variable. So that's why we will have here y is equals to u and u equals to x. Then the third one is to get the derivative and substitute everything to the given de and substitute back substitute back after getting the general solution okay so basically that is the steps in solving um, coefficients or solving the virtual equation with constant coefficient so test if it is homogeneous or not if it is not homogeneous then do not use this method so that is the gist or that is the purpose why we are testing if it is homogeneous or not then let either x or y be a function or a variable of another variable so that's why you could say x equals to vy or y equals to ux or you could use whatever variable you like as long as that as long as that variable that you are replacing will be equal to the original variable the other variable times a new variable so for example if y if y is the variable you are going to replace then you add a new variable multiplied by the uh, other variable present in the equation so that's why y is equals to ux so if you are going to have x so x is equal to vy so you could have that one it's depend on the situation for example if you are going to use y then your equation will become more complicated so you are going to replace y then the equations will become more complicated then it is advisable to use the add or to replace the other variable so of course whatever variable you replace you can still solve you can still arrive with the same answer or the same general solution but it's better to have a solution that is much uh, concise so that you could avoid errors in solving that um, given differential equation then you get the derivative that is step number three get a derivative dy or for in this case you could have dx then everything substitute that to the given um, function so you substitute the value of x the value of y the value of dx the value of dy substitute that and you will end up with you will end up with a function which is in terms of um, u and x that is a new function in which after that one you will see that you can now separate the variables so it will be simplified and you will go to uh, separation of variables then apply the same technique used in separation of variables then you will get the general solution then after getting the general solution substitute back the value that you have replaced and you will have now your uh, true answer which is in terms of the variable that is given by the differential equation so i guess it is much easier for me to explain the steps if we will have an example for this one which is for the next video this is just a discussion and also the theory on how to um, how to get the solution of uh, equations different equations with um, const uh, with homogeneous coefficient okay so the next video we will be solving example equations for this type of differential equation so thank you for watching this video and as always enjoy learning